Okay, let us stand and face Jerusalem. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, our daily bread. And, forgive and forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Be seated, please. As you know, the baptism is, this is not a long ceremony, but this is a love ceremony between God and his people. And we know that the Father so loved the world that he sent his only begotten Son to come and die for your sins, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. You, in turn, are going to show your love by keeping all of God's laws, statutes, and commandments with all your might. In Romans it says, Know ye not that so many of us were baptized into Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death. So you'll be taking part in the death of Christ when you go into that water. Therefore we are buried with him by baptism in the death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father. Even before we put you in the water, we're going to ask the Father to accept you into his family. Even so, we also should walk in newness of life, because God has given you all the power that you need to save your life once you come out of that water. It says, for if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection, which is eternal life. Isn't that what it's all about? Yes. It says, knowing this, that the old man is crucified with him. So that old man is going into the water, you're going to leave him in there. And when you come out, you go walk in this newness of life. And remember that the Lord said he will never leave you nor forsake you. He's with you even until the end of the world. So you can do this walk. Use that power that he has given you. It says that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin but righteousness. And neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. So remember, like the Lord say, he said that, hey, he loved the righteous every day, but he's angry with the wicked. So make sure that you do this thing with all your might. It get tough sometimes, but you can do it, because the Lord said that he's left you the power. So all of the family and friends that are here witnessing this and the Lord say that when one sinner repents that even the angels in heaven rejoice so there's a lot of rejoicing going on let's give everybody a round of applause so be strong and use the power that God has given you so that you may obtain that eternal life that he has promised to all those that love him are y'all ready to proceed with the baptism let us proceed with this joyous occasion, the baptism.
Heavenly Father, we ask that you receive Brother Daryl Winfort Jr. into your family. And we baptize him in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, that he too may receive your Holy Spirit. Born in the water right now. of sins that he too may receive your Holy Spirit. Going in the water right now. into your family and we baptize him in the name of Jesus for the remission of sins that he too may receive your Holy Spirit going in Thank you. 
come on and take me in. Heavenly Father, we ask that you receive Brother Ray Vining into your family. And we baptize him in the name of Jesus for the remission of sins, that he too may receive your Holy Spirit. In the water right of sins that he too may receive your Holy Spirit. Going in the water right now. of sins that he too may receive your Holy Spirit.
Heavenly Father, we ask that you receive Brother Jeffrey Myers into your family. And we baptize him in the name of Jesus for the remission of sins, that he too may receive your Holy Spirit. your family and we baptize him in the name of Jesus for the remission of sins that he too may receive your Holy Spirit. of sins that he too may receive your Holy Spirit. of sins that he too may receive your Holy Spirit.
We ask that you receive Brother Corey Calvert into your family. And we baptize him in the name of Jesus for the remission of sins, that he too may receive your Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, for the remission of sins, that he too may receive your Holy Spirit. Going in the water. into your family and we baptize him in the name of Jesus for the remission of sins that he too may receive your Holy Spirit.
We ask that you receive Brother Michael Williams into your family. And we baptize him in the name of Jesus for the remission of sins, that he too may receive your Holy Spirit. In the water. O oh Lord God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the creator and maker of all things that I am throughout all generations, I want to come to you, O oh great God, offering these brothers as living sacrifice. Receive them into your covenant, O oh great God, and let them understand that this is a lifetime thing. This is a walk that must be continued. The day is the first step. Strengthen them, O oh great God. Now, if any should fall, give them the strength to get back up and finish this race. In Jesus' name, I ask this blessing. Who is blessed forevermore? Amen. 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 Congratulations.
of sins that she too may receive your Holy Spirit. to your family and we baptize her in the name of Jesus for the remission of sins that she too may receive your Holy Spirit.
We ask that you receive Sister Kena Russell into your family. And we baptize her in the name of Jesus for the remission of sins, that she too may receive your Holy Spirit. Born in the water right now. I've been so clean. I've been Sheena Van Ellen Mays into your family and we baptize her in the name of Jesus for the remission of sins that she too may receive your Holy Spirit Going in the water. into your family and we baptize her in the name of Jesus for the remission of sins that she too may receive your Holy Spirit. Oh, 
one down. Yes. Heavenly Father, we ask that you receive Sister Andra Somerville into your family. And we baptize her in the name of Jesus for the remission of sins, that she too may receive your Holy Spirit. Going in the water right now. Oh Lord God, God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and God of Jacob, the creator and maker of all things, I come to you, O great God, sending these sisters to you as a part of the new family. Accept them, O great God, as a living sacrifice. Strengthen them and let them understand, O great God, that this is the most important move that they made in their life. And this is the first step to solidify salvation. Keep your heads around them, and if they should fall, pick them up and bring them on into your fold. In Jesus' name, I ask these blessings. Who is blessed forevermore? Amen. Amen. Okay. You all go to the rest the dressing room. Congratulations, God. Thank you. Congratulations.
receive Sister Jaquetta Neelan into your family. And we baptize her in the name of Jesus for the remission of sins, that she too may receive your Holy Spirit. Going in the water right now. Marquisha Cross into your family and we baptize her in the name of Jesus for the remission of sins that she too may receive your Holy Spirit going in the water right now going in the water right now Sister Bernita Alexander into your family. And we baptize her in the name of Jesus for the remission of sins, that she too may receive your Holy Spirit. into your family and we baptize her in the name of Jesus for the remission of sins that she too may receive your Holy Spirit.
of sins that she too may receive your Holy Spirit. Going in the water right now. Lord God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the creator and maker of all things that I am throughout all generations. I want to ask you, O great God, to receive these sisters into your family as a living sacrifice. Let them understand, O great God, that they have entered into a covenant with you. So this walk has just begun, and this walk must be continued until you come or till they die. No one can be discharged from it. So put your hedges around them, O great God, and keep them close. If they should fall, help them stand back up and continue this walk. In Jesus' name, I ask this blessing. Who is blessed forevermore? Amen. Amen. Congratulations, sister. I've been washed clean. Put on the helmet of salvation because I want to meet the king. Say I'm getting my life in order. I wanna meet Jesus. Yeah. 